Hello and welcome to Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Jason, and today I'm going to show you how to install stainless steel Nerf bars on this EasyGo RXV golf cart. Before we get started, let's take a look at what is included with the Nerf bars and the tools needed for the job. This is what is included with your stainless steel Nerf bar kit, part number ACC-NB04A. You have your driver and passenger side Nerf bars, your template to mount the Nerf bars onto the vehicle, and the supporting hardware. Now let's take a look at the tools needed for this installation. The tools that we need for this install are some tape, I decided to go with masking tape, safety glasses, a T45 Torx, scissors, an eighth inch drill bit, a 5 16 inch drill bit, a center punch, a drill gun, a Phillips head screwdriver, a half inch open end of wrench or socket, a tape measure, and a permanent marker. Now let's begin with the installation. The first step of this installation is we need to remove the five bolts from the upper and lower rocker panels. Here, 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 and here. To do that, we are going to be using our T45 torch bed. Our next step is we need to cut out the template. To do that, we're going to use the scissors and cut along the dotted line around the outside. You also want to cut out the area that is marked mount hole for factory rocker panel. The next step is we need to apply the template to the vehicle, but before we do that, I want to point out two small things. One is we need to make two small holes with our center punch at the center of the areas labeled Nerf bar mounting holes. The second thing I want to point out to you is that the side with all the lettering on it is the passenger side template. To get the driver side template, you just need to flip it over. Now that you have your holes in and the template is facing the right way, we can apply it to the cart. So what you want to do is you want to take the bottom edge and the forward edge of the template and line it up with the bottom edge and the forward edge of the underbody. Once you have that lined up, what I'd like to do is take a little bit of tape, apply it here to hold the template in place. Now that we have the template taped and in place, we just want to double check and make sure we're in the right position to do that. We're going to see if our hole that we have cut out for the factory mounting hole for the rocker panel winds up, which it does. All right. Now that we're good to go, we can just take our center punch and with the two holes that we put in previously, make two marks on the underbody. And now we're ready to drill these holes. Now that we have our holes marked, the next step is we want to drill them out. We're gonna start off using the eighth inch drill bit. Making sure that you keep the drill level and square to the cart, you wanna drill your hole. Now that we have our pilot holes drilled, we're ready to drill them out with our 5 16 drill bit. Again, you want to make sure that you keep the drill level and square to the cart. The next step is we want to temporarily attach the Nerf bar to the outside of the underbody. To do that, we're going to use two of the provided Phillips head bolts. All right. Once you have the bolts in place, it should hold the Nerf bar there. And now what we want to do is we want to measure how far down from the top of the Nerf bar mounting bracket to the bottom edge of the underbody and it should be right around two inches. Right, we got two inches right there. So knowing that it's two inches from the top of the Nerf bar mounting plate to the bottom edge of the underbody, we want to come to the front portion of the Nerf bar and do the same. Once we measure two inches, we want to take our marker and just put a real small mark on the Nerf bar mounting plate. 
Now that we know where the bottom edge of the underbody is supposed to line up on the Nerf bar bracket, what we can do is we'll just line the bottom edge up, holding it in place. We're gonna take our drill gun and just start two quick holes. All right. Now that we know where we need to drill these holes, we want to remove the two bolts holding the Nerf bar in place in the back. And once we have the Nerf bar removed off the cart, we can drill the front holes. Now when you're drilling the two front holes for the mounting bracket, again, you want to make sure that your drill is both level and square to the vehicle. Now that we have all of our mounting holes drilled for this Nerf bar, we can go ahead and permanently attach it. To do that, we just want to pick one of the holes in the rear and stick our Phillips head bolt through. Doesn't have to go in all the way, just enough so you got some of the bolts sticking out on the back side. Now we want to take the Nerf bar, coming behind, underbody, we want to find the head of the bolt and line it up with the hole on the mounting bracket. This might be easier if you get underneath. It probably will be a lot easier, actually. But uh, I, think, I think I can get it. There we go. All right. Once you have your first bolt through the hole on the mounting plate, what we want to do is take one of our flat washers provided in the kit and one of our nylock nuts and just get it started on the backside just so we can make sure that the Nerf bar uh, doesn't come off of the bolt. Now that we have the rear portion of the Nerf bar mounted, we want to do the same thing on the front. Again, just taking one of the bolts provided in the kit, slide it through the hole, find the hole on the bracket for the Nerf bar, We're good. Flat washer, then our nylock nut. Just want to get these started. And do the same thing for the next one. Once you have all the bolts started, you can come with your Phillips head screwdriver and your half inch open end wrench or socket and tighten everything up. Now that all the hardware is tightened and the Nerf bar is securely attached to the vehicle, the next step is you need to reinstall the upper and lower rocker panel. Now that you have the Nerf bar securely installed on the cart and you have reinstalled the upper and lower rocker panels, you want to repeat the same process on the passenger side start to finish. Once you have done that, that wraps up the install of the stainless steel Nerf bar part number ACC-NB04A on this EasyGo RX Speed golf cart. Thank you for joining me today at Rock's Garage. Please enjoy safely.